for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 21 coins, you've got to check out MMOEXP. Stay away from the packs and just buy the ball as you want. You can use code SPREE at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having another fantastic day today. You can call me SPREE and welcome back to another video. Today, I want to build the best budget lineup in Madden 21. I want to focus on all of the budget beasts at every position, looking at guys that you should be looking to pick up. Not only am I going to look at players, we're going to look at chemistries and abilities. We're going to form the entire team, break down how you can go ahead and have a stacked lineup that doesn't cost very much that you can take into weekend league and dominate speaking of that if you do want to see me use this particular team that we build the chemistries the abilities 100 likes on this video and i will ditch the god squad the no money spent team and i'll rock this team for weekend league so you guys let me know if you do want to see that hit that like button down below now i want to get straight into it we've got a lot of players and abilities to break down today in terms of budget my definition of budget i'm working with today 100k or less is going to be the goal we're looking at guys that you're not going to need to power up so no power up passes no free players like andre johnson like sam mills we're just going to look at players that you can get for good value on the auction house checking out our first player our quarterback i'm sure you're seeing straight away he is over 100k this man is our only card over 100k on the entire team a lot of these guys are going to be significantly cheaper than 100k but starting with the quarterback the most important position on the field this man at a 96 overall field general gets hot route master and gunslinger two essential abilities i think in the way that you want to be playing this game he has good mobility good throw power he's going to make all the throws you need can get inside dead eye as well we're going to talk about abilities in a little bit but rich gannon is going to be the best budget quarterback in my opinion in madden ultimate team still at running back we've got Jim Thorpe, 91 overall, only for 20k, but if you peep the stats, 95 speed, 97 excel, 98 agility, and 94 change of direction. You're probably going to want to run on conservative if you are using this man, but this dude is fast, and we value speed on this team. Now, as we go through the positions, I do want to give you a few alternatives to think about as well. One I'm going to look at for running back is going to be Jonathan Taylor. Around 70k, you can definitely get him a little bit cheaper, but 94 speed, speed is good, good break tackle, good carrying. He He's going to be able to fall forward because he's a slightly bigger built back as well. So another option that you can think about, I still prefer Jim Thorpe. I like the value at only 20K, but this is another guy that you could add, especially if you need two running backs in your system. Over to wide receiver, everything is about speed. Speed, speed, speed. Speed is what we want on this side of the ball. There is one exception and I will get to him in a second, but 96 speed, 96 excel. 80k hits pretty much all of the route running thresholds as well definitely a solid card this Curtis Samuel only slightly cheaper and only slightly slower we've got Santana Moss here 95 speed 95 excel it does hit all of the route running thresholds both of these guys are on the smaller side but at 80 thousand coins this guy is going to be another baller that you can add to your team and then a pick that people might be surprised about we have randall cobb right here he is only 94 speed 95 excel which is good but not great you can see route running thresholds he doesn't get deep route running we will cover that later when we get to chemistries but the reason i want to go with this guy he is a slot archetype wide receiver he also has 95 awareness Put those together, this man gets Playmaker. I think Playmaker is one of the top two or three abilities in the game. I think it's essential for the way that I like to play. If you like to run with it, this is going to be the budget guy that you want to add to your team. 80,000 coins, far and away the cheapest player that gets Playmaker at the moment. And then just as an honorable mention, if you don't need Playmaker, you just want good speed, good catching, good overall player, T.Y. Hilton probably is going to be your guy. 80k again, 95 speed, 94 excel, hits all the route running thresholds. Route runners, you can get things like route tech as well. So definitely a good option right there as well. Next up, we've got the tight end position, and I think this might be the best budget card in the game. No cap, 92 speed, 94 excel. 91 catching, hits almost all of the route running thresholds. This man is only 40k. He is high speed, good catching, good route running, solid run blocking as well for a tight end. 92 overall, Jeremy Shockey, 40k, definitely the best budget tight end in the game. And then if you run two tight end sets, another guy you can look at is going to be Chris Cooley. 88 speed, obviously a little bit slower, but good catching. He can air truck, solid blocker as well. So a good overall balanced tight end that you could add to your team if you need. And then finally, we've got the thick boys up front the offensive line i looked for big heavy guys i look for guys with around 90 plus overall run blocking and pass
pass blocking stats. These guys were the best value guys that I could find at the position. Russell Okung around 40,000 coins. John Hanna around 40,000 coins. My man Chase right here around 40,000 coins. The exception is my guy Greg right here, but he is an absolute stud at 50,000 coins. You can go a little bit cheaper, but I think for an offensive lineman, a right guard, this was definitely the best value I could find. And then back at around 40,000 coins, we've got this Marcus Gilbert right here as well. And I think that's the best budget offense in the game. You're not gonna need all of those players. You might not need that extra receiver. You might not need the extra running back, that extra tight end. But a lot of those good players are guys that you should be looking at if you are trying to build a good budget team. It's gonna open you up to getting a lot of good abilities. But of course, we'll cover abilities and chemistries in a little bit after we go through the defense. So getting on into the defense, I wanna start at the cornerback position and I wanna start with the Sean Murphy bunting. Just over 80,000 coins is gonna get you 95 speed, 94 excel, good coverage across the board, and he's six foot, a nice tall corner out there. Definitely one of the best budget corners in the game. Next up, we've got AJ Terrell, 95 speed, 95 excel. If you run mid zone knockouts, this man is a zone archetype, so you are gonna get that for one AP. He's currently sitting around 100K, but you definitely can go ahead and do the set to finish him off, save some coins right there. So definitely another good budget corner. We've got Trey Waynes right here at 95 speed, 95 excel. Another tall guy, another guy with good coverage, just a good overall baller to add to your team. And then my honorable mention is going to be this man, Patrick Peterson, a little bit slower than those guys at 94 speed, still really great speed, 80,000 coins, good coverage, six foot one. If you don't need a fourth corner, this guy could be a good coverage safety for you. So Pat Pete is another guy I'd be looking to add. Next up, we're going to look at safeties and I'm not going to have any linebackers on my field. We're just going to have safety subbed in at linebacker, starting off with Brian Dawkins right here. If you have a look at his stats, his coverage is doo-doo, that does not matter. We are going to be using this man, 94 speed, 95 excel, he's less than 30,000 coins, he's six foot, this guy is going to be a baller, an absolute baller for you as a user. Next to him playing linebacker for us, we want another tall, fast, good coverage guy, and that man is going to be Roy Williams, 94 speed, good coverage, good hat power, another goon to add to play linebacker for the team. And then playing safety alongside Patrick Peterson maybe, 94 speed, 94 excel, 93 zone coverage. This Rodney Harrison definitely fits the bill as a good budget player. And then finally, we've got the defensive line. We're gonna look at our pass rushes right here. Now I wanna focus on putting pass rush abilities on my guys on the defensive line. But if you wanna go with some different guys that get things like inside stuff, that's definitely up to you. But for me, starting off with Adelius Thomas, he's only 20,000 coins. He has 91 stock speed. His block shed is okay, but as a power rusher, he is going to get the ability to have El Toro, and he is going to be able to get double or nothing. So for only 20K, you could get a stud pass rusher who is super fast as well. That's a great combination for me. A guy that's been in the game for a long time now, 89 speed, 89 block shed, a bit more balanced than the Adelius Thomas, but he is a pass rusher again, so he is gonna be able to get the same abilities. And this man's just going for around 30,000 coins. So those first two guys we looked at, I wanna be putting those at your defensive ends, your left end, your right end, making sure they're coming off the edge. The next two we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at guys playing defensive tackle for you. So they're gonna be played out of position. Left end, Robert Mathis, 40,000 coins, good speed, especially if he's playing defensive tackle. Good excel, good pass rushing abilities, okay block shed. I think this guy is a pretty solid option. Randy Gregory is actually very similar. Solid block shed, solid speed, good pass rushing, the right archetype to get some of those pass rushing abilities. One additional guy I'll throw in there to consider is Marcus Davenport. He's 86 speed, so a bit slower. His block shed is a little bit better. His power move is a little bit better. As a power rusher, you can get El Toro for only two AP. That might be pretty nice to have at your defensive tackle position. So another guy you can think about, around 35,000 coins. And then last but definitely not least, you need to invest in your kicker. Tyler Bass, 36,000 coins, 94 kick power. You want a guy that can hit those long field goals. This is the best value kicker in the game still. So Tyler Bass is going to be your guy. Looking over the defense, we've got speed everywhere. We've got coverage where we need to. This is definitely a defense you could ball out with, especially if you have the right abilities. Looking over the entire team as a whole, a lot of these extra guys you're not going to need. Ignore the price tag at the moment. You can definitely get these guys a little bit cheaper. But in general, an entire team for maybe one 1.2 million coins not 
bad at all. I definitely think that's good value and this is definitely a team that you could be very, very competitive with in Weekend League if you want to. To break down the abilities and chemistries, I do want to look at my current team, the Goon Squad, the No Money Spend team. This team is juiced. I've gotten so used to using them again. If you do want to see me use the budget team, you know what you need to do. Hit that like button and while you're down there, hit that sub button down below as well. So in terms of abilities, what you're probably going to want at the quarterback position, Hot Route Master, Gunslinger, such a deadly combination. Only 5 AP right there. What I would consider throwing in because it's so glitchy, Inside Dead Eye, only an extra AP. You can make any throw with this particular ability. So definitely something you should be looking to add right there. Playmaker, super glitchy ability. You're gonna be able to destroy man coverage and find the gaps in zone coverage with it. For six AP, it's expensive, but I think it is a game changer for your offense. So definitely something you should try out if you haven't used it before. Now we didn't go crazy investing in the offensive line. You're probably gonna go against much crazier defensive players. So you might want some offensive line abilities. Edge protector, if you're going against edge threat elite, is gonna be a good way to nullify that ability. An ability that I really like that I currently use my team is going to be post up. It's gonna be good in the run game, good in the pass game. If you can get double teams with your guards or your center, whoever you put post up on, you are gonna get some dominant block so another ability you can look at to get a little bit more time and a little bit better blocking and then Loki one of the glitchiest abilities in the game we've got deep out elite outside the numbers being able to get consistent aggressive catches if you do watch your boy play you'll see I throw it up to my guys with deep out elite pretty consistently and they are aggressive catching in coverage so there's another ability that you could throw on if you're making the right throws this could be a really clutch ability to add to your team if I was to break it down for people I'd probably roll with something similar to what I have Horror Master, Gunslinger, and then maybe Inside Deadeye. Maybe you run with one deep out elite on someone like Curtis Samuel, and then a couple of post-ups out there as well to give yourself a little bit of extra blocking. Alongside, of course, Playmaker. We can't forget Playmaker. That would be 15 AP right there, and I think that would be a good, very good usage of that AP. On the defensive side of the ball, for me, the way I like to play, it's all about pass rush. Double or nothing. I know it's 4 AP now, but it still screams. It still does a great job of absolutely getting to your opponent. So I think double or nothing is a good one to put on some of those pass rushes we got. Speaking of pass rush, El Toro is another ability that you can mix in as well for only 2 AP. This can go crazy in games as well. So all of those guys that we got with the power rusher archetype, they're gonna get this ability for 2 AP. Adelius Thomas is going to scream. With all that speed being such a budget cut, I think that dude's an absolute goon. When I'm looking at my user, Pick Artist has been a really glitchy ability. I have not dropped a single pick since I started using that. Should I need this ability? No, but it has worked and for only one AP, I think that's not a bad addition to your user. Put that on Brian Dawkins, just watch him absolutely ball out. Another couple of abilities you could look at, mid zone knockout. Your players will break and react on the ball like crazy with it. So if you put it on your safeties, if you put it on your corners, they're gonna be able to go crazy for you. And if you can go ahead and pair that maybe with a few acrobats out there, especially on your corners, cause it's only two AP, that could be a super glitchy combination. So another couple of abilities to think about on the defensive side of the ball. I will say an honorable mention to things like Enforcer and Deflator, if any of the guys can actually get that ability and you want someone that can absolutely destroy your opponent's ball carriers, Another couple of abilities you could look at. For me personally, the way I like to set up my defense, it's all about pass rush, so double or nothing. I have two of them on my defensive tackles. That would be Gregory, that would be Mathis for the budget team. On the edges, we run El Toro, so we run with Thomas, we run with Weir. Two AP a pop right there. A couple pick artists, depending on some of the guys you might use. If you're only using Brian Dawkins, maybe one pick artist. And then you might have a few extra AP to throw an acrobat out there, or you might want to get some mid zone knockouts. So you have a lot of flexibility, especially with the abilities on the defense defensive side of the ball. Definitely don't want to forget you want to put an ability on your kicker. Put focus kicker on him. Make sure you have the slow kicking meter. Definitely give yourself the best opportunity to make those kicks. So that's the abilities. I do want to quickly look at chemistries before we finish up as well. Go deep is what you're going to want to go with. You're going to get better throw power so that's good for Ganon. You want to get better deep route running as well so that's going to be good for Cobb, good for Shockey. That's going to help them meet the route running thresholds. Sprinter, super clutch. Put sprinter on all your guys plus two speed. If you need extra guys to get to 40 out of 40 get some cheap elites put the chemistry on them make sure you can get 40 40 on your team to get that plus two speed boost and then on defense lockdown is the way to go better coverage better zone better man 
all the above, definitely a good option. Overall, especially for a budget team, you wanna have the best possible coverage. You wanna, you give your size the best possible chance to be able to make plays for you. One final look over the budget team. I think this team is juice. I think we could ball out absolutely with this team. I think we've got good players across the board and with the abilities that you can pair with this team, I think this team absolutely could go off. I will put a link to this team down in the description below. If you do have any ideas, some budget guys that I missed, definitely let me know as well. I know sometimes I'm gonna miss guys out, some guys I've never seen before. Let me know, maybe we can add them to the next budget team video. But I think that's gonna be us for today, folks. A really good budget team that you could go ahead and use if you're new to the game, if you're just starting out, if you're trying to improve your team, these are some budget ballers that you could go ahead and attack to pick up and really go to work with. So thank you very much for coming through. I hope that was helpful. If you are new to the channel, definitely consider popping down, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. I appreciate you coming through, everybody. Take it easy, you can call me Spree and we out.